<clears throat> that has a weird taste. Hi everyone, my name is Jess. Welcome to my channel. And as the title says, I am gonna be doing a mini Saqqara challenge this week, as well as doing OMAD. So let's jump right into it. First things first, uh, well, OMAD stands for one meal a day. I have been intermittent fasting since August and been doing OMAD on and off since about January. So I've been true to this, I ain't new to this. Um, but that just all goes to say, like, don't just jump into something, you know, feet, like don't just jump into intermittent fasting, especially OMAD, you know, head first, like really, you have to kind of like work your way to that moment. Um, but super beneficial for me because Saqqara is super expensive. And um, that just being able to buy the, what I would typically eat has saved me a lot of money. So super excited about that. Um, and also what even is Saqqara? So if you're on this video, I feel like you probably know what Saqqara is, but if you don't, Saqqara is this like organic wellness brand that does meal, like, provides meals kind of like HelloFresh or, um, you know, any number of those meal programs out there. However, these do come made already and they don't really require heating. So that is awesome. I actually did Green Chef last week and it was so much effort to try to cook <laughs> that I actually still have an extra meal I need to like give to somebody. Um, Anywho, so it's like an organic wellness brand. Their tenets are like, you know, um, eat the rainbow, like eat a wide variety of vegetables and fruits and eat your greens. So eating enough greens is super important. Um, I don't know, just a lot of, like a lot about gut health, a lot about just like your well-being, how food is medicine. It, I mean, it's, it, is, it is pretty cool. Um, they have some great articles on their website. I actually have been listening to their podcast. I have really liked the episodes I've listened to so far. They had this great episode with um, this woman named Larea Gaston, and she owns this vegan bodega in LA. It's nothing is more than $5, and she has a food truck, and she actually gives out over 10,000 meals to people experiencing homelessness every single month. So there is some really awesome stories on this podcast. That episode, I would totally recommend. I mean, she was just saying everything just so on point. Um, her, you know, what she believes in, her ideas were just so, so awesome. So uh, check it out. I actually really enjoyed that. But to jump into it, let's start with what actually came in the box. And I'll show you guys the meals I got as well, but we'll go over what, like the non-meal stuff, which I didn't even know I was gonna get non-meal stuff, so I'm really excited. So first up, this really cute Saqqara bag, perfect for like the farmer's market. So it just says Saqqara, eat clean, eat whole, a little bit wrinkled, but that's okay. Um, and be like a fancy lady at the farmer's market. So that's super fun. And then up next is the daily essentials. I had no idea I was getting these. So I am super, super jazzed about this. So let's see. I got five of their detox teas. I got five of their detox teas and I got 10 of their probiotic supplements. I actually bought the full packs of both of these cause I didn't know it was gonna come with the meal kit. And they're not even coming until maybe like later this week. So I was like gonna have like half of my my challenge without this stuff. So I'm like, oh my God, this is literally so perfect. So super excited about that. I, I cannot wait to try those out. And then I also got this bag and it also says Saqqara on it. And when I take the stuff out, you'll probably be able to see it better. But here we go. A little bit stuck. Okay, so Saqqara, I can't really, okay, it's too shiny. <laughs> but whatever, just believe, take my word for it. Um, okay, so welcome to the Saqqara life. Today is the first day of your Saqqara life. We've included this kit to welcome you on your journey. In this kit, the ultimate guide to the Saqqara life, complimentary, complimentary sample from our Clean Boutique. Their Clean Boutique is basically just where they sell their non-meal kit products. And then Palo Santo incense. So that's what that looks like. And then kind of like an advert on the back, Saqqara, products with purpose. This kit includes a complimentary item from our clean boutique, 
our online store of wellness products that make it easy to live the Saqqara life. Each product is designed with functional ingredients and potent plant-based nutrition to deliver results, whether that's brighter skin, more energy, or a clearer mind. Okay, cool. Oh, and then I got a 20% off code. Nice, welcome treat. I feel like anybody could use that. So huh, if you see this and you use that, go for it. Um, and then the ultimate guide to the Saqqara life. And this is, it looks like it's kind of just like about the company. So Sakara is grounded in nutrition science. This is a lifestyle, not a diet. We make it easy. Oh, and on that, um, one thing that was really cool about Sakara, they don't believe in counting calories. I don't believe in counting calories either. I think that's kind of a disordered way to eat. Um, and so they don't believe in counting cal calories. It's like eating until you're full, eating the right things, but don't obsess over counting calories. The program at a glance, ready to dive in. Here's the essential skin. There's a lot in here. I'm not gonna read that. How to recycle our packaging. Oh, cool. What? Okay. Sustainability, minimizing toxic food waste, setting intentions. And I will say too, okay. So that's one of the Sakara founders. That is, um, I think that's Daniel Dubois. Um, yeah, that's Danielle Dubois. And as you can see, she's blonde and white. And the other founder of Sakara is also blonde and white. And their the whole product name is Sakara. And it's actually a Sanskrit word. So this, it, at a glance, this the whole thing is very cringe. And I am acknowledging that, that this is kind of cringe. Um, and there's actually something cringe in this box we'll get to. But at the core of it, I like what they're doing. Is it seem like, you know, rich white lady shit for rich white ladies? Absolutely. But I think they are maybe trying to get away from that a little bit. So this was the thing I got from the wellness shop. So their detox bar and depending, so if you're new to Saqqara, it's gonna be different for everybody. Um, I got the detox super bar. So I'm actually really excited to try this. I will probably eat this today. <laughs> and then this is the cringe thing I was talking about. So sorry, I don't wanna say it's cringe. It's cringe because it's coming from this like rich white lady brand. I don't think it's cringe in general, but here we go. We'll read it. So a little card and this little wood stick. So it says Palo Santo, an ancient cleansing ritual. We suggest burning your Palo Alto stick. Sorry, I said Palo Alto, sorry. Burning your Palo Santo stick upon receiving your first Saqqara delivery in order to carve out space for new pathways, habits, and creations. I feel like Coming from this brand that feels a little bit gimmicky, I I like, don't get me wrong, I'm a very spiritual person. I love like cleansing my space, but this coming from this like rich white lady brand feels a little bit gimmicky, but you know what? We gonna rock with it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. Like, you know, I'm all about, I'm all about journeys and paths and things like that. Um, but yeah, so that was it for what came in the box. Now we'll go through what I'm planning to do for this challenge this week outside of just eating the meals. So of course I'm gonna eat the meals every day, but I also um, am going to drink a gallon of water per day. So for these babies, I am going to dry brush every night before I go to bed. And dry brushing is just like, basically this you can google it see what what why people do it they actually as part of their detox level two program they have a dry brushing thing that's why i'm doing this um this is kind of like a pre prerequisite for like doing the detox two program i want to see how this goes and then um i think invest in their detox two program because i just hear these like amazing things about it um so dry brushing every night um, at least 15 minutes of exercise per day. So whether I just like go for a walk, go for a bike ride, do like something like a, like a YouTube video or something like that. Um, I wanna do at least 15 minutes of exercise per day. Um, and it did not come yet. So I'm a little bit disappointed, but it should be coming hopefully sometime this week. But I did get their beauty drops and their detox drops. And the plan was to do beauty drops in the morning and then the detox drops, which is actually chlorophyll. And as if any of you are like on TikTok, you know that chlorophyll is huge right now. So beauty drops in the AM and then the detox, the chlorophyll drops in the night, but they did not arrive today. So I'm a little bit bummed about that, but that is okay. Um, we'll pick it up at the end of the week if it comes. 
and yeah that is it so i am really really excited i cannot oh oh one last thing oh my gosh one last thing as part of my personal my challenge that i'm doing outside of the sakara meals is they really believe in getting at least four to six cups of leafy greens per day so that is something i'm going to be doing on my own i bought a huge bag of spinach from costco and i'm basically just going to have a smoothie every day with at least like six cups of spinach um, so I'm excited. Let's do this. All right. So these are my meals Monday through Wednesday and then Thursday and Friday's meals will come on Thursday morning. These came this morning. They want everything to just be as fresh as possible. So today is going to be the Thai basil Buddha bowl. Yum, yum, yum. Tomorrow, rainbow veggie mushu wraps. Yum. And then Wednesday, Saqqara style pasta bolognese this looks so good this one i'm really excited about so when i actually eat lunch i will go through i'll like show you close-ups of these meals but yeah that's what we're looking like woohoo all right i'm gonna start working now but just quick check in on the detox tea it has no taste which i love it is just like a generic herbal taste so today's meal thai basil buddha bowl and the Superfood Spotlight Handmade Green Curry Paste. We make our curry paste by hand with ingredients like antibacterial Thai basil. We do it with love and craft because it's, we think it's worth the extra effort to support you in manifesting your mission. We believe in you, just like you've always believed in us. That's kind of cute. And then came with this curry, kind of got a little bit whatever in the mail, but cool. Let's open it up. See if I can do this with one hand. So this is what it looks like straight out the thing. Um, I'm going to heat it up. It says heating is optional. This does look like a little bit like, I don't know, it looks like sad to me. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat it up because um, I don't want, yeah, I want to. <laughs> I just want to, okay. All right, so meal number one, Thai basil Buddha bowl with the green curry. So green coconut curry. And then I'm going to have the detox bar as well as I, this is part of my six cup, four to six cups of greens a day. Um, so cool, we'll take the first bite. So it's actually like shockingly good. Um, I don't wanna like record myself eating cause it's so noisy, but. The coconut, the green coconut curry is really, really good. And I'm like shocked at how good this is actually. This. Now we're gonna try the detox bar. So the texture looks like wet, um, which is interesting. Also this has calories on it, which is interesting. So maybe there's just like different laws with like prepackaged food versus meal kits. And this has 19 grams of carbs. I do like to, it's 170 calories, 19 grams of carbs. I usually would not opt for something like this. Um, and it's only one, it's not part of the meal plan. So I'm gonna eat it, whatever, but. Yeah, that's okay. Mm. <coughs> that has a weird taste. Oh my God. It's like still aftertaste. Coming new aftertaste or emoji drink every second. <coughs> oh my God. Okay. That is a really interesting taste. I'm gonna eat it. This is gonna sound crazy. The taste, you know how you can imagine what something tastes like because you can smell it? This literally tastes like a zoo. Like if the smell of a zoo, like the animal pens, like if the smell of a zoo, like the animal pins was a taste, that's what that tastes like. <laughs> so I don't know about this. Maybe I won't buy these. Yeah, that literally, that tastes like a zoo. Like it tastes like the elephant cages. Mmm, <laughs> mmm. Yeah, that one is weird.
That one is definitely weird. All right, so I just went for a two and a half mile walk. So now I'm gonna just chill and relax with my favorite stuff at the moment, Tapo Chico. Um, so pretty successful day one. I will say my mom made pizza tonight and I was so tempted to have a slice, but I was like, you know what? We're gonna be strong, we're gonna do this. And I'm like literally so proud that I did not have any. So day one, a success. So I realized yesterday I didn't do a, I didn't show you guys how I made the smoothies. So just go through the ingredients. I have this tone it up vanilla protein. I use like half a scoop of that. I use a full scoop of the vital proteins, collagen, beauty greens, half a banana. Usually it's frozen, but I forgot to freeze one last night. And then coconut milk, pineapple, and six cups of spinach. So this bag is giant. I got it at Costco. And it honestly tastes pretty good. Like it doesn't just taste like you're drinking, you know, chopped up spinach. All right, so today's meal is rainbow veggie mushu wraps. Um, heating optional on this one, superfood spotlight tamarind. Take your time assembling these wraps, admiring the rainbow colors and the pot of gold at the end, tamarind sauce along with dietary fiber to beat bloat and support digestion. Tamarind contains the antioxidant tartaric acid, which boosts your body's absorption of nutrients. The true prize is radiant health. So this is what it looks like when we first open. It looks like we have the wraps there and then the vegetables at the bottom. And I think I will heat these up. So I am heating these up with some avocado oil and it came with a little jar of seasoning. Um, kind of look, looks like sesame seeds almost. Look how pretty these colors are. I mean, this is insane. The purples, the greens, the oranges. This is truly, truly gorgeous. All right, so this is the Mushu Wraps assembled. Oh my gosh. This literally looks like I'm in a restaurant. How yum. And I tried the tamarind sauce already. So, so good. I feel like I usually don't like it because it's really peanutty, but this one is really good. So I'm gonna take my first bite. Also today, I am having a little bit of a snack with cucumbers and vegan cream cheese with like garlic sprinkled on top and strawberries and blueberries with vegan organic honey made out of apples and mint leaves. <laughs> So yesterday, while the meal was really filling, I did feel like I was a little bit hungry in the evening. Maybe I just wasn't eating enough calories, so I'm trying to add more calories. And of course, I will be having my green smoothie as well. So let me take the first bite. Okay, first bite has been taken. I'm not on camera today because I look a mess. But oh my gosh, we have another winner. The tamarind sauce is so good. All right, I am going to eat, so my phone away so it is like it is 9 26 a.m i am breaking it a little bit by still having something pretty healthy i'm having this granola that is really healthy it's low carb um and fruit with coconut milk just because i was like a little bit hungry this morning so i was like you know what i'm gonna have breakfast and have a little fruit and granola cereal so yeah so today's meal is a Saqqara style pasta bolognese. I have really been looking forward to this one. It seems like it's gonna be really hearty and yummy. So I'm excited. The superfood spotlight here is the Sandra. We create food that feeds your body and spirit. Our clean bolognese contains the Sandra, which has a balancing effect on everything from your digestion to your mood. It also has stress relieving, adaptogenic powers. Now that's what we call comfort food. <laughs> All right, I did hit it up on the skillet and I did add just a touch of my own like garlic seasoning because I tried one piece and it was like a little bit, um, just a tiny bit bland. Um, also, I don't know how this meal would have been cooked eaten just cold um, because the pasta was really hard. So I think this is one that definitely should always be cooked. So first bite, this one is honestly just okay. I think I actually liked the more veggie oriented meals a bit better. Um, it's not bad at all. Like it's it's definitely still good, but I, the fl I think the flavors and the colors in the veggie meals that I had the past two days, I actually like those better. Um, but you know, this is still good, but not my favorite. <laughs> 
Okay, I feel like I wasn't like super satiated by that meal. So I am making another little bowl of the keto granola and some blueberries. I'll actually show you guys what the granola looks like. All right, so here is the granola. I got this at Target or <laughs> I got this at Costco, sorry. Um, so yeah, it's really, really good. So I did stray a little bit from the Saqqara meal plans today, probably eating some things that wouldn't be on, like that are not kosher for Saqqara. But I still have not eaten any meat this week, so I still think that's a win. And again, it's not like, you know, it's not meant to be a restrictive diet. It's just meant to like be a lifestyle change and um, overall try to eat healthier. So I feel like I'm still doing pretty good. I had like some crackers, so like, I'm not gonna lose sleep over that. So today's meal is lavender quesadilla with broccoli pesto. And I am going to put this in the air fryer to heat it up. They're much smaller than I expected they would be, um, but that's okay. And then Superfood Spotlight today is cashew, vibrant, nourishing, and satisfying. This quesadilla is a manifestation of our dreams and cravings. Dip into tomatillo salsa made with antioxidant rich hibiscus and enjoy alongside cleansing, hydrating greens. Topped with medicinal turmeric mango vinaigrette to experience vitality in full bloom. So I already tried the mango vinaigrette and it's really good. I am really excited to try the tomatillo sauce. Um, so my plating isn't super gorgeous today, but that's okay. <laughs> so I'm zoomed in. You can kind of see the purple in the, the like tortilla but not really. The photo online looks much different, so I will add that to the video. I thought I was gonna get something completely different, but that's okay. Eating some of the quesadilla. I actually really like it, it's really good. The tomatillo sauce is like, okay, it just kind of tastes bland. Um, I ate the entire salad, but I did not love it. It was mostly, arugula and a lot of celery, celery, and I'm just not really a fan of either of those tastes. Of course I ate it because I did not want anything to go to waste and I spent too much money, but I actually do like the quesadilla. It does really taste, um, it does have like a kind of a comfort feel, which is really, really nice. All right, last meal of the week, Sichuan noodles and rainbow carrots, and then the sauce. Superfood Spotlight Sesame Oil on this one. And then uh, wakame on this one. So this is what it looks like opened. I don't even think there was, okay, heating. I am gonna heat it again. Um, I just feel like it tastes really good when you heat it up. All up and close and personal. So it's pretty good. Again, a little bit intense on the salad. Um, which is fine because there is like this yummy sauce all over it that kind of like math the taste. I had tried a piece um, while I was like prepping this and putting it in the bowl and it was like so gross to me. <laughs> but um, when you dip it in the sauce, it's pretty good. Okay, now that I've eaten most of the salad and I can just enjoy like the noodles and like the other stuff, it's really good. These, I don't know what this is necessarily, like maybe it's little carrots, those are really good. And then there's like these giant, Water beans in it. Um, <laughs> my mom was in the background saying water chestnuts, I don't know. But those are really good. Um, so yeah, I like this one. All right, it is Saturday now, so I'm gonna film this pretty quickly, but I just wanted to give my wrap up and my thoughts on the program, what, result, what results I saw, if I would ever do this again, and like my favorite meal and all that kind of stuff. So we'll start with the results. Um, from weigh-in on Monday morning to weigh-in on Friday morning, I lost 7.6 pounds, which is incredible. And I didn't do, I didn't measure my inches on Monday because I forgot, but I measured on either Tuesday or Wednesday. And between that time frame of to Friday morning, I lost an inch around the widest part of my lower belly and then an inch around my upper waist. So, wow, incredible. Um, and then other things I saw, um, I, I wasn't tired after my meals. Like usually after I eat, I'm pretty tired and like I need to take a nap. I wasn't tired. I felt like pretty energized for the rest of the day. Um, I didn't really see any skin changes. I don't think my skin really changed. Um, so whatever. Um, <laughs> I don't think my skin changed. Um, 
But yeah, losing the weight was amazing. And then if I would ever do this again, absolutely. I actually want to do it again the week before my birthday because I'm going on a trip. And then I want to do their actual detox program sometime after my birthday. They only offer that once a month. So I'll just have to see what dates work for me. Um, but it is super expensive. So it's not something I'm going to be able to sustain most of the time, unfortunately. Um, I did the math because I bought other stuff along with my meal kits and it was about $85 for just five lunches, which is insane. That's a lot of money to spend, but I got their cookbook. <laughs> um, and so I want to like definitely keep their like principles of nutrition and all that good stuff when I'm uh, thinking about like eating and meal, like what I decide to eat and cooking and things like that. So uh, I'm not going to do the smoothies every day. I'll do them sometimes, but that was just really intense to try to like chug down six cups of spinach before I ate. Um, so that was kind of a lot. I'm not going to continue doing that, but I'm going to try to still get a lot of leafy greens. And yeah, so I really, really did like it. I, I, I loved it. I think I could say. Um, my favorite meals were actually the first two. So my favorite meal of the week was the veggie mushu wraps with the tamarind sauce it was so so good that was my favorite meal and the vegetables in it were so good because i think i had squash too um and then my second favorite meal was mondays which was the thai which is the basil buddha bowl and that was so so good um but the veggie mushus were my favorite um yeah i think that's pretty much it for me um I am excited to do this again um, throughout the summer, kind of like on and off. So it was a really cool. It was really fun. It was um, it was awesome just to eat so healthily. And then also I just want to note on the exercise. I didn't like do anything different than I would usually do in a week. So my exercise was about the same of what I usually do. All I did was change my food and I lost 7.6 pounds. Insane. And it could have been a lot of water weight. Like, don't get me wrong, because you know, that's not literally gonna be 7.6 pounds of, uh, fat, <laughs> but like I was drinking a lot of water. So probably a lot of water weight, which is like totally fine. Um, and sorry, my hair looks a mess, um, because I've been like so tired today, um, went to a grad party last night. So I did break the program a little bit last night cause we went to a grad party. Um, but yeah, so that's it. I'm not just going to sit here and ramble. Um, so thanks for watching my video. If you made it to the end, I am truly, truly impressed.